Hello friends, this is Malumati Dunya and I am Tigba Kamran. Today I am going to tell you about the journey of fiber to fabric. In today's video, I am going to provide you information about fiber and one of its type which is plant fibers. So let's start. The thin threads that form clothes are called fibers. Clothes are made from fibers. There are two types of fibers, natural and synthetic. Natural fibers are obtained from plants, for example, cotton and jute or from animals for example silk wool and fur other than these leather is also obtained from animals synthetic fibers are made from materials which are artificially prepared in factories for example nylon and terylene cotton and jute are main fibers obtained from plants cotton cotton is a soft temple fiber that grows in a form known as a ball Around the seeds of a cotton plant, the fiber is collected either by hand picking or by machines. The fiber is most often spun into yarns or threads and is used to weave a soft, breathable textile, which is the most widely used natural fiber from which cloth is made today. Cotton is used to make a number of textile products. These textile products include terry cloth and are you also used to make highly absorbent bath towels and robes and then I'm used to make blue jeans. Cotton is also used to make khadi, a handmade fabric. Nowadays, socks and most of the t-shirts are made from cotton. Bed sheets are often made from cotton and it is also used to make yarn used in crochet and knitting. It is widely used to make mattresses. Cotton is first sterilized and used for clinical purposes also. Cotton clothes are most commonly used in areas with tropical climates as they are comfortable in summers. Now let's talk about jute which is a long, soft and shiny plant fiber that can be spun into coarse, strong threads. It is produced from the skin of the jute plant stem. It is the second most important plant fiber after cotton. Jute is one of the cheapest natural fibers and is second only to cotton in the amount of produced and variety of uses. Jute fibers are off-white to brown in color and 1 to 4 meters long. The fabric made from jute is popularly known as burlap. Jute fibers are also called hessian clothes and jute sacks are called gunny bags. Jute has been cultivated in Asia since ancient times. Jute is cultivated in Pakistan also, Bangladesh, India, Nepal and China are some of the countries that produce jute in largest quantities. Jute is used chiefly to make clothes, to wrap bales of raw cotton and to make sacks and coarse cloth. The fibers are also woven into curtains, chair coverings, carpets and rugs. It is used to make bags to pack agricultural products. Jute sacks are used in packaging industries. Jute is 100% biodegradable. It is thus used to make things which could not only be made using synthetic fibers. For example, jute is used to make containers for young saplings, which can be planted directly along with the containers. The fibers are used alone or are blended with other types of fibers to make twin and rope. Jute buds, the coarse ends of the plants, are used to make inexpensive clothes. On the other hand, very fine threads of jute can be separated out and made into imitation silk. Jute fibers are also being used to make pulp and paper. Just jute has many advantages as a home textile in either replacing cotton or blending with it. Coir Coir is the fiber obtained from the outer covering of the fruit of the coconut palm. Coconuts are soaked in water and then their husk is separated. The husk is then beaten to get the fiber called coir. Coir is spun, dyed, and woven. Coir is used to make a number of household products like mats, robes, floor coverings. They are also used to stuff mattresses and pillows. Thanks for watching. Subscribe the channel and stay tuned to know about animal fibers, which is the upcoming video.